All right, in this video, we're going to go over working with image planes or references. Very handy to do when you're trying to replicate a, you know, a spaceship or whatever, any sort of design. It's always useful to have some sort of image plane in there to, just to give you reference, you know, instead of trying to print them all out and leaving them around your desk, you can actually throw them inside plasticity here. So let me show you what I got set up here. And these are actually image planes that I created uh, for my TIE Interceptor after I built the whole thing. They're not the ones that I originally used. I used a couple different artists' uh, renderings and stuff like that to, to try to figure out the shape and dimensions and what have you and all the details. So I've got a real good set in here. So let's go over to another instance of plasticity real quick and I'll show you this one here okay so I've got this starter file over on Gumroad to where it's got all the image planes you need to help you design the tie interceptor that I built inside it so let's go ahead and turn off the references here real quick and as you can see I've already got the starter shape of the the body as well as the wing and a curve here to start the wing and I'll show you how to do that but let's take a look at the image planes real quick so if you go to the top or you go to the front you got you know perfect references I can even turn it around and you can see I can see the backside I can see the underside as well as the top so Let's break it down. Let's open up the reference here real quick. So I've got uh, five different ones here, and I've got two of them or four of them that are stacked on top of each other. So like the top and the bottom are actually stacked on top of each other. And so let's just isolate them. All right, so top, bottom. Okay, so, so they're in the same spot. So, and if we pull up their material by hitting M, you can see that I've got opacity on and at 0.25. Seems to be the perfect uh, ratio there. And set it to front and front only. So, only the front side is going to be visible, which is the, the normal, which way the normal is going. So, when, they, when you bring everything in, the normal is going to be pointed straight up. So, what you do is you rotate one of them. And then, so when you flip it over, it's a different image. So, because like I said, I got two different ones here. They got the same material on them. So let's uh, bring everybody back. Now, the, so I said the top, bottom, front, and back do the same trick. They're sitting on top of each other. Now, the side one has a different material. Everything's the same, except it's double-sided. So it doesn't matter which way I turn, you'll see it. So let's just select one of the, let's just select the top, isolate it. Okay, see, I look underneath and it disappears. And that's how I'm able to stack them on top of each other. So just depends on which way you look at it. So it's uh, super handy. So let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and design. Oh, I'm in isolate, that's why. There we go. All right, now everybody's visible here. All right, so let's go ahead and design the wings here. And if I didn't mention earlier, I do have this over on Gumroad, the starter file, so you can uh, follow along. And so I took that curve, and all I did was just look at the front and then draw out the basic shape at the center of the wing. And then extrude. I'm going to tab it so it goes both directions. I want to get it just to that back end there. Okay. That works. I'm going to switch to edge, so edge selection. Select these front edges. And then we're going to drag them all the way out. Okay. As you can see, we've already got our design started here. And, you know, if everything is, you know, getting in your way, you can always just go up, select all the ones you don't want. disable there we go so now we're just working with that one image plane so if it gets too crowded just to isolate one of them and go from there 
So let's continue to refine our shape here. So what we need to do is I'm going to do Shift A. And now I made all these unselectable. So you can't actually select them if you come up to this top one, disable. So this way you don't accidentally click it and what have you. So I'm just going to draw a quick line here. Okay, switch it to five so I get the point selection here. Just going to hit control. Let's line that one up. And I'm using the edge there to help me line things up. Man, zoom in here. Just trying to snap to that corner there. Okay. Perfect. So we'll go ahead and Alt X. All right. We select both of these guys. Cut. Select that sheet. Right to execute. Right button. And that will should get rid of them. Let's see. Yep, just hit X to delete them. All right, got that shape fixed. All right, let's do rinse and repeat here. Shift A, just get in as close as I can. And then control, snap it to that edge. I'm going pretty quick here, so you could probably do a better job. All right, go ahead and mirror him. Pretty simple, straightforward. Cut that sheet, okay, and delete the residue. Perfect. We got our shape there. Let's do our center cut real fast. So with this one, we can actually select a face, Control R. And then control R, tab it. That. All right, we still got everybody selected. Alt X. And Q to merge. Okay. Select that face. Get rid of it. There we go. So now select your wing again. And actually, let's go ahead and turn everybody back on here. All right, cool. All right, so select that wing again, that sheet. Let's go ahead and thicken. All right, so let's extrude out, tab it, so it goes in both directions. Right about there gets your basic dimension. There you go. You got the start of your wing. And you know the TIE Fighter, TIE Interceptor, is actually really not that hard to build. Um, really, it's a lot of projections and cutting and no fancy uh, surfacing that you really have to do. So that's kind of why I picked it, you know, it, do some of the easy stuff for now. But it's, it's a little tedious, takes a little time. Uh, like I said, I used a couple different references and even bought a Hot Wheel toy. <laughs> of the tie interceptor to see things so and because the references didn't show that the back part of this wing is thicker than the front part of the wing i was like oh okay so i had to adjust my design on the fly but so i also have if we load up the starter pack and if you go under details i've got some detailed renders of inside everything so we can pick Let's go ahead and get on the side here. You can actually use this to just click and drag. And then G, move things around because it'll put it dead center. Scale. And you don't have to add an opacity to these guys. You can put them in a separate folder under details. Move them back there. Select him and him. I can isolate. And then I can start doing all the little details on the inside. So I can zoom in. I can scale it up. And I can see all the little details and greebles and everything that need to be drawn out and put together there. 
So and I, I put these little rendered images all over the place uh, to try to figure out details and so, but that was the process. It's a little tedious, but uh, I find image planes are very helpful and it's not the industry standard or whatever. This is just how I use them. So I hope you found it helpful and we'll catch you in the next video.